Pisces, my Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces, my Pisces, Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces. What's up, water babies? What's popping? What the hell y'all doing mid-month October? Between the 16th and the 30th. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my y'all ain't mocha. We ain't even got that yet. Y'all gonna be cutting the fuck up. That's what y'all gonna be doing. Cause y'all showed out on my video. I I look at I say two point what say who? My Pisces. Y'all never let me down. Hey, what's up, family? Y'all, this Venus retrograde though. You see my face? <laughs> y'all got a Pisces moon. <laughs> You see my face? I got to say this. It's very, very revealing. It's allowing us to see things from a different perspective. Well, things that we were once mad as hell at, now we're looking at it like, oh, you again? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good, love. Enjoy. <laughs> no, I'm good. You know, it's now you can actually sit back, cock your feet up. And just <laughs> smile, it <laughs> smile, it come on. Look, that's my shit. You understand, Pisces? That's the only thing I can hear for y'all right now. I'm living my best life. <laughs> Ain't going back and forth with you. Hey, look, Pisces. If can't nobody feel me right now, y'all feel me. I'm literally on ten. I'm all bubbly and shit. I'm always this way when I get my hair done. It hurt a little bit, but you know, I was like, nah, got a reading special going on. So I was like, you know, we're going to get to it. You know, it's, hey, smile, mm, smile. Hey, I got a lot to be smiling for. Pisces, you got a lot to be smiling for. So this will be from the mid-month of October, from the 16th to the 31st. That's what, yeah, 16th to the 31st, okay? Um. Y'all, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Pisces. It's not a personal. It's a general. If you need a personal, it's a special going on. Save your $15. Save your shmoney. That's a separate video. Go check it out and get your reading, babe. Also, um, y'all, new subscribers, thank you so much. Welcome to the family, y'all. We all let this function up in here. I cuss. You know, I don't, we don't fight and fuss when we do that shit. We leave that shit on other people's channel. You know, but we cuss. All right? But we definitely grow, we evolve, we enlighten, we love, y'all, we share, we family, all right? For me, blood don't always make you family. Our soul, our spirits, the connection it has, and loyalty makes you family. So thank you, family, for supporting the kid. Thank y'all. I really humbly appreciate it. We rock it, all right? <clears throat> um, Y'all, this is your first time to my channel. Hey, boo, hey. I'm Oka. <laughs> um, look out. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot. Just depends on what the hell these cards say, all right? So y'all know how we rocking. I love it. Please give me the messages for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross washer. Sign of Pisces, mid-month October. Spirit message. We gonna lay them. Hey. Okay, Pisces. We gonna lay them. Mm, mm. We gonna lay them. Uh, uh. We gonna lay them. Hey, hey, we gon' land. Hey, hey, Mocha need a refill, but it's all right. We gon' let the lady go as we gon' do it all. Hey, y'all don't get me started. I have a whole damn concert up in here. <laughs> all right, Pisces. So the first message is gonna come from the Doreen Angel, sorry, Crystal Angels Dig by Doreen Virtue. Okay. Lapis Lazuli is what you guys got. Life changing epiphany or experience. It's a time of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each and every step of the way. You understand that? God is supporting you each and every but but who? But God is supporting you each and every step of the somebody do a dance, somebody. Okay? What you scared for? What you worried about? Y'all let God do God's job. Let's rock. Life changing epiphany or experience, lapis lazuli, for those of you who use crystals. Your life is about to change, with blessings supporting your progress in learning and growing. This card signals that you're reaching a pivotal moment when you will make a life changing decision. You may also have an epiphany that seems to turn your life upside down. Perhaps you realize the truth about yourself, a relationship, your health, or your career. Facing truths can be frightening, yet also freeing. 
Lapis lazuli can also signify transformation on your spiritual path. You may return to core beliefs, connect with Mother Mary, who is associated with the color blue and lapis, or awaken your natural spiritual gifts. So what I'm actually seeing here is all tree of that, all trees of that type of behavior. Okay, I'm saying, y'all. But no, I'm actually seeing you guys are connecting with spirit. A lot of you all, that life-changing epiphany, that, that, that information you're going to be finding, some of y'all need to take better care of yourself and drink more water. Some of you all are going to be having babies. Congratulations, smoke a lot of kids. Yes, but some of you all, this is going to help you to heal and to face that fear because ain't nothing to fear but fear itself. Some of you all in, are internally fighting yourself. It's like a battle between you. It's like a you against yourself. Because the masculine and the feminine within self is trying to come together. Some of you all are fighting your twin flame too, but I feel this is more about Pisces and the self. Some of you all are going to be communicating different during this time. Some of you all are going to receive some type of communication that's going to bring balance and restoration back into your life. It's going to allow you to free yourself from them thoughts, free yourself from them fears. Some of you are or a whole new level intuitive. Intuitive is an understatement. Some of you all will be finding out you have psychic abilities during this time. And it's going to come after a period of healing. It's like God's precious reward to you. Like, here you go, baby. Since you accept it and you put in all that hard work, you accepted my call and you put in all that hard work, I got something to give you. Some of you all are definitely in love, in love, new love. Okay? I am seeing. Some of you all, it's definitely water on oh, water, I see. But some of y'all, you definitely dealing with the damn Aquarius. I see Aquarius, Gemini, Libra in the building. I also see fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel like some of you all are more so internally fighting yourselves. Some of you all are not happy about this pregnancy, but understand that this pregnancy is a blessing. It's people like who can't have children. Understand that you're gaining a new perspective. It's not what you see but how you look at it, okay? So let's rock. Spirit, what you got to say in love for my Pisces? Spirit, what's the message for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers. Love, 16th to the 31st of October. What's your message in love? Pisces. Y'all, don't make no, don't charge nobody else for what somebody else did. <laughs> Y'all, it's unfair. I keep hearing it's not fair. I didn't do it. You end in cycles, I see. Y'all, this new love, this new love, you can try and fight it all. You like, it's inevitable. I'm going to take them. Yeah, some of y'all are having to make a judgment call that's going to bring healing to you guys. Some of you all could find yourself in court during this time. Some of you all are actually making a judgment on love. You're going to stop fighting it and let it in. And it may come in the form of an Aquarius. I also see... um. Cancer Pisces Scorpio here as well, but you're definitely going to have a tower moment during this time that's going to cause you to end cycles. And this is, I feel like, for the Pisces who have been involuntarily, who have been voluntarily, involuntarily not making up. You know what the hell I mean. Y'all ain't been doing what you're supposed to do. You ain't been, you wasn't answering the call when Spirit is saying it was time to move. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, some of y'all could be going into new cycles with a Scorpio. Some of y'all are ending cycles with a Scorpio as this person is your karmic partner. Some of you all don't know whether to throw in the towel or keep going when it comes to a Leo. Some of y'all making a judgment call as far as a Leo. Y'all going to have to have a towel moment in order for the love to grow. I am seeing that. Some of you all possibly are dealing with um, a Leo who has an earth sign in their energy trying to work it out with them or whatever. But that person is in love with you, baby. They ain't going no damn way. In fact, they want to end that cycle all together and start a new cycle with you. But I feel like somebody could have hid some shit and it could have had to do with some money. And somebody going to actually be in somebody. One of y'all is going to leave the other one. Somebody going to try and move away. I do see if you dealing with an Aquarius, you could be thinking about leaving this person, moving away with this, moving away from this person. But y'all, it's inevitable because I see whoever I'm talking to, you are the person who will possibly be defensive towards love. Some of y'all are going to be cutting the shit out of a Capricorn during this time. Y'all not playing. Y'all are cutting off people, places, and e people, places, things, everything, every situation, situation that is toxic. Pisces, y'all not having it. I see y'all. Some of you guys are going to be moving away from a situation that involves a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. But I feel like this is somebody um, 
who, wow, karma's a bitch. So I feel with how I see this, Pisces, if you're dealing with a fire sign from your past, during this time, this person's going to want to move towards you. They want to give you everything that you were trying to manifest in the past. But on the cool, for some of you, this is what you needed to heal from. Now that they see you having this new beginning, now, you know, they really want to, now they want to put their finger in your sauce. Y'all going to put it, ooh, y'all going to let them sauce it. Y'all going to let them, y'all going to let them finger your sauce. <laughs> okay, anyway, but now this person is going to come through. But they still come in with this toxic ass energy and they still come in with this half ass offer. For some of y'all, <clears throat> you could be finding out that you're a lover, okay, or this could be you, Pisces, but some of y'all could be finding out that your lover or um or a soulmate of yours could actually have started a relationship elsewhere. Like they answered the damn call, Pisces, and you like, really? Here I was fighting and shit. But don't sweat it, baby. It's for you to go into a new cycle for better. You understand? Some of y'all are leaving a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, out in the cold. For some of you all, some of y'all are very, very, very intuitive. And I feel like someone, either you, someone left you out in the cold or you left someone out in the cold. This could be five months ago, five years ago. For some of y'all, it's seven years ago. For some of y'all, it could be eight. This could also be months too, y'all. But I feel like you intuitively know when I tell y'all some of y'all are intuitive to whole new levels. Y'all straight up psychic. You know that this person is coming back. And I feel like some of y'all are trying to be optimistic and questioning this person's intentions because you don't know the actual outcome as you're moving away from this damn person. Okay, straight, straight up like that. You're going to move away from this person for some of you all. You could be actually receiving a passionate offer or giving a passionate offer to a Virgo. But I feel like for some of y'all, you're going to move away from this fire energy. Some of y'all going to move away from a Capricorn. You're just tired of the shit. You're tired of arguing. I'm tired of just beefing with your ass. Some of you, <laughs> some of you guys, someone who left you out in the cold. This could be a fire sign. It could also be a water sign as well or air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone left you out in the cold. And now intuitively, you possibly been having dreams about this person coming back. You on the money. Here they come. But they coming back because it's like this person wants to keep you stuck in this crazy ass cycle of toxicity. Like who the fuck wants to be stuck in a cycle where you are unhappy? It's time to choose happiness, my babies. A lot of y'all can choose happiness. Some of y'all, some of you all have a, a water sign that's not too happy with you during this time. This person definitely feels left out. This person could also be very intuitive, but I feel like they feel like you're moving forward and you're just not giving them any explanation. And for some of y'all Pisces, you feel like you don't owe this person an explanation. My explanation was my damn efforts in the past. You were blind. You couldn't freaking see by the blinding of pride. For some of you all, <clears throat> some of you all are going to have some type of sharp communication, possibly with a spouse, someone you're married to. This could also be a Taurus, okay? But I feel like it's having to do with deception, Pisces. Either you're going to be spilling the beans or somebody's beans is going to fall right into your damn lap. But it's for you to make a decision. But some of you all, you've been having a fire sign in your energy being very defensive towards you or you this person. But I feel that you're finally going to move away from this person, okay? I feel like you have analyzed the situation. I feel like you've been very, not only have you been very analytical, but you've been very strategic on some of y'all even been really just kind of practicing in the mirror, you know, or will be like, I, I, I don't want to be an asshole because I don't want to accumulate karma, which is why you ain't said nothing to whomever this is in the first place. But I do see, uh, whoa, yeah, I do see you guys victoriously moving forward. For some of you, it's going to be with the fire sign, especially if you're dealing with, um, I see Leo strongly here. And I also see Aries here as well. But I feel like, yeah, some of you all, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, definitely Taurus is getting ready to fall. Some of y'all are going to be making a judgment call regarding the Leo. And I feel like you love this person, but sometimes this person can be difficult to love. But I feel like you're really not communicating what you feel. You're just going with the flow. I don't even love that you have with this person. And you needed to communicate. Some of y'all are going into a new cycle with an Aquarian, okay? I feel like in the past... This person could have been very, very, very closed off, but they're moving away from that toxic energy. They want to move forward with you, baby. Some of you all, 
could also be dealing with the fire sign, okay? Another Aries, Leo, Sag. This Leo, some of y'all could have actually been moving away from a Leo as well that left you out in the cold due to choosing possibly an earth sign due to financial reasons, staying in that toxic ass energy. Some of you all, um, some of you all, <laughs> some of y'all are dealing with another intuitive. And I feel like it's a lot of one up and going on in that relationship. Either you or the other person feels as if you have to one up the other. What the hell? I'm sorry, y'all. Something just happened where it sounded like some water. Something just fell. I ain't with it, you know. Um, <laughs> look, I ain't with it, okay. Uh, but I will say, some of you all, you're very passionate about an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but you feel like this person moved too damn slow. Some of you could have had a Virgo person move away from you, and they've been very defensive, or they will be being very defensive. However, it's only having to do with a communication about some form of deception that they're either trying to hide, they don't want you to see. But some of you all may intuitively see this within dreams, okay, and just decide not to communicate with this person since this person that your ass didn't tell me. Fuck it, we ain't got to talk about it. But I can show you better than I can tell you that I ain't with the shits. That's how I see y'all handling um, possibly a Virgo. I see that if you're dealing with, uh, with the sign of Taurus, you and this person, the love... The love can be restored here. However, somebody got to move away from this victimized ass. Somebody is a victim, child. When I say they a victim, they are a victim. You can't have a conversation with this person. Accountability is out of the question. It's not happening. And that is what makes you defensive. But to be honest with you, things are going to be laid on the table during this time for you all, especially if you're dealing with fire or that earth energy. If you're dealing with an air sign, what I notice here in this whole entire reading, y'all, it's not a whole lot of swords. Pisces, y'all keeping a lot of shit close to your chest. Mm-hmm. 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 That's y'all. Mm-hmm. Some of you all could be making the judgment, especially when it comes to a uh, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, possibly regarding a third-party situation. Okay, this could involve um a Leo as well. Within that third party. Some of you all are just focusing on your money. And this month, baby, if you're just getting a new job or you're looking for a job, stop worrying about that. Shmoney finna look damn good. Shmoney's looking damn good. But you had to go through this period of healing, baby. The body, mind, soul, and spirit. Drop them back. Put them bags down. You can't move forward with all them bags. They heavy. Put them down. Some of you all. <laughs> some of you all are being very flirty with a fire sign. And I feel like this person could be younger than you. I feel like there's a lot of internal conflict when it comes to dealing with this person. This could either be you or this person. And I feel like it has to do with possibly in the past, you know, maybe this person feel like they had to carry all the weight by themselves. Maybe you are defensive because you don't want to add nobody else's baggage to the damn load. So you like, no, I ain't with the shit. But to be honest, y'all, that new beginning is here. I told you love is inevitable. Here it comes. What you going to do? Are you ready or not? Because guess what? Some of y'all need to get ready. Some of you all are dealing with a water sign. They got a whole bunch of options. Hell, Pisces, this could be you getting your reconciliation on. Just letting your exes know, oh, you remember when you left me hanging? You ain't being mean to them. Remember when you look? <laughs> I'm cute now, huh? <laughs> all right. Oh, no, I'm good, love. <laughs> Enjoy. I just wanted to say hey and keeping it moving on to the winning. Okay, Pisces, I am so proud of y'all. It's been quite the journey for my Pisces. Y'all have been y'all have been through the ringer, baby. But the only thing I see here is karmic endings and beautiful beginnings. It's reward time. Let that toxic shit go. Some of y'all, this Capricorn coming up in here. This person is very intuitive as well. It comes in damn Capricorn. Instead of cutting their ass up with the sword like you normally do, you're going to be a lady or a gentleman. <laughs> Silence is sometimes the best fight. And in y'all cases, I'm seeing that Pisces is trusting their intuition, focusing on their freaking money, and learning. I don't have to fight you with my sword. I'm smarter than that. I done built up experience and had more wisdom. 
in my life in life and shot why well, I, I didn't y'all my words I didn't experience more wisdom in my life and enlighten myself so argue and fight with you for what for what for what when my shmoney looks good for what when I'm in love for some of you you will be getting that new job that you asking for spirit says yes yes for some of you all <laughs> I'm in love. I'm courageous. You see me? I'm strong. And I'm fine. How about that? I ain't lost shit. If anything, I won, 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 won. I win. That's what I do. I win. Pisces, tell their ass. Argue for what? I win. Keep winning, Pisces. Keep winning. This will be from the 16th to the 31st of October. If you need a personal reading, y'all hit me up. I love y'all very much. Much love, much light, many blessings, much abundance. Namaste. Deuces, babies.